So here's my version of the rolling log uh, mouse rat trap. So I bought all these parts at Lowe's. Here we have a short span of rebar. Uh, it came that length, so there was no cutting involved there. Uh, instead of the fancy uh, ball bearing roller that you can get on eBay, I used a PVC pipe over the top of it. Um, so it's important if you're going to do that to actually have the bar going through some end caps in the pipe. And what this does is reduces the friction. If you just have the pipe laying on the bar, when there's weight on it, uh, it will reduce the roll amount. So uh, the PVC pipe in the center here is not touching the bar at all. And the only friction is on the, the two ends. So that's important. I think the next important uh, innovation, if that's what you want to call it here, uh, is if you can get the rodent out onto the roller and then get it to shift its weight off center uh, it's all over at that point and so what I have here is just the a cut up old uh, three inch planter uh, that we bought some plant in uh, cut it open zip tied it to the center of the bar what I'll do here is put the, the peanut butter on the edges and so once the animal gets out into the middle it's gonna be forced to shift uh, its center of gravity away from the bar and that should be all she wrote so I will post all the parts um, numbers that you can get at Lowe's I think in total this was less than twenty dollars that's not too bad when you're considering buying a poison trap with poison uh, runs you fifteen or sixteen anyway um, and that price does include the, the trash can so um, that's about it. Hopefully this will work. I'll post an update.